Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and today we're going to unbox a this baby, which is gigantic. Yeah, it's like, bigger than literally. normal. It's like... For size. It's literally like this big. Yeah. So, I don't know what the extra stuff is. Maybe it's our Christmas present from Loot Crate, because this is the December box? Oh, thanks, Loot Crate. Is it the December box? It is the December box. It's the December box. That arrived in January. All right, so... I'll hold it. We pre-cut it. Reaching here, we're gonna grab the shirt first. So we're looking to see what the shirt is. Turn it around. I'm trying to figure out what it is. <gasps> I think I, I think I know what this is. I see a dwarf down at the bottom there, and I see mighty dwarf stuff. So let's see. The tag gives it away. Yep. Dungeons and Dragons mm -hmm. t-shirt. I, I, that's what I saw. I saw the dwarf and I saw the axe and I saw the shield and the helmet and I'm like, this is all stuff that... It, but, oh, I get it. They're like little peg things. You know how you would snap parts out? Mm -hmm. Now I get, like, it comes with, like, the kit. You gotta snap it out of the things to put everything together. That's what it is. The dwarf and everything that goes with it. Oh, okay. I actually like the color, too. It's, uh... Very red. Gryffindor colors. <laughs> Gryffindor! Okay, so I'll put you over here. Alright, next thing we're going to grab is the... Oh. What is it? Hold the box up. I know, I'm going to cut it first so I can pull it right out. Alright, so... This is from Fallout. Okay, and Fallout's a game. And there's perks in it. And one of the perks is the Fortune Finder perk. And this is pretty much the personification of, of, of that. Clean that up. Oh, can't throw that on the ground. The cat will chew it to death. Mm -hmm. She's down here waiting for plastic to fall so she can chew on it. All right. So this is the... So here we have the actual little guy here. Let's take a look at it. I love this new camera. Program it auto-focused right on it. So it's, you know, the fortune finder, you know, the little, uh... Oh, he's a little metal detector? Yeah, he's got a little metal detector and headphones only on one side. And then it has a base. Yeah, well, it has a base and... Sorry how loud that was. No, you're not getting this. Alright, so it looks like he's got a little base that he goes into. Let me just... Uh, everybody's favorite puzzles... How do you go in there? I am. I've always been a use your college skills. Square peg in a round hole kind of guy. So apparently, uh, there we go. No, Just we kidding. Don't. We can figure it out later. Oh, it's one of those stupid. Hold on. Might be another one of those. We need gorilla glue for it because they, you know, manufacture these things and they don't. So it looks like it's you know. It's got a little, if you can see the thing, it's a little wasteland stuff, and it's right over a piece of metal, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm trying to jam it down into the thing. But here we go. That'll be good. If you can see, nice, nice little figurine. We're going to have to, honestly, 90% of the stuff that they send us, we have to glue where it goes in together. Okay. Time for the thing that's going to you. What did I tell you was in this crate and you were super excited? Don't remember. Escape from New York. I'm excited. It looks like a little... It looks, looks like if you can uh, feel it, it's like a little one, one of those little poster, one of those little movie... Oh, yeah. One of the little movie hardback posters. That's freaking awesome. So that's really cool. I was kind of hoping it was going to be the pin. I'm glad it's not the shirt. Because then I would never see it again. I would steal it. So we'll, we'll hang that up. And we'll put this in a sleeve till you we find a way to. We'll put it back in the sleeve till we find a way to hang it up so it doesn't get ruined or chewed on. That's but, super awesome. Chewed on by somebody in this room. Tiny cat. Right. No, it's me. I chew on things. Oh, you do. All right. I don't think there's anything. Oh no, there is. What we got here. Oh, what is this? All right. So this. Is, everything in plastic 
Why is life in plastic? Why am I too... I have a master's degree. I'm too stupid to open plastic, apparently. Okay. So what we have here are a collection of pens. Ooh. And you have the Autobot pen. The pen of... This is from the new Bumblebee movie. Not original, not... You know, Shia LaBeouf, not your... Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. There you go, that's better. Get a little bit off the reflection. But yeah, it has the Autobots, the uh, the Autobot symbol, the bug, that from the new movie. You know, that's what he's from. And then a full Bumblebee in ro robot mode. You got more pins. I got more pins. So, I don't know how big of a Transformers fan, Transformers fan you are, but... All right, this last one is a, oh, Lost in Space. Like OG Lost in Space? Like, remember the little pearl thing? The little portal, po the little pearlescent yeah. portal thing? That is what the pen is. The pen is from Lost in Space. I was never really a big fan of them, so I don't really know the significance of this, but it's like a little pearl with some type of, like, metallic stuff around it, but... Four pins. Yeah, four pins. It's like they knew it was for you. Okay, so apparently, I got another one of these gift cards for HelloFresh. Hello, garbage. <laughs> Some other thing. Uh, what do we got here? It says, Hey, Looter. If you flip through this month's product guide, it's pretty great. You might have noticed that the Escape from New York cosplay eye, eye patch. What? Is MIA from your crate? Well, after the guide went to print, we found out there were some production issues seriously delaying the eye patch. They were unforeseeable. I appreciate a good pun, Luke Crate. Mm. Thank you. Rather than delay your crate, we'll be adding the eye patch to our January crate. So to make sh so make sure to keep an eye out. There's a lot of puns <sighs> for. Uh... Sorry, uh, we're sorry for the pro for the product guide mix up, but we think you're going to love your scavenger crate. So yeah, so. The name of this was Scavenger. That, that, that was the name of the crate. Um, if we open this up here, you can see that on the inside, you can actually, uh, all of this comes out here, like this punches out, and you can actually make a little model Bumblebee. And then there's Bumblebee in a Hiya pose. Yeah, and that's a Cybertronian cipher. It actually shows what each letter means in the English language, and... Yada, yada, yada. And I think that's the only part of it that actually... Yeah. You carefully cut along, fold the matching tabs in order from A to E, and share a photo of your finished Bumblebee, and blah, 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 blah. So, what else we got here? So, yeah, so this is the guide. It pretty much shows every, everything. I want to get a... Nope, nope, nope. Bumblebees, stuff like that. Ah, look at that. So, apparently coming next month is this beautiful right here escape from new york eye patch i'm gonna leave a long pause here for if you're new to the channel i'm visually impaired and i'm currently having like blind issues in one of my eyes so the eye patch would be incredibly um useful i suppose does it say escape from new york on it though Nope, I think it's just a regular eye patch that uh, Snake Pliskin wore. I already have an eye patch. <laughs> so call me Snake. Um, so that's pretty cool. I definitely appreciate the fact that they didn't hold up the crate for an eye for an eye patch. I think they started out the New Year strong. I love the shirt. The shirt's really cool. The pins are awesome. The figurine is is cool if you know what it is and what it's from. Um. The print is really cool too. Yeah, the print, the print, the print is awesome. The eye patch is going to be cool once we uh, get it. The figurine, I'm not like, it's cool. I don't really. Hey, you don't know though the game, so. No, I I know of the game, but I'm yeah. just like, eh. I it's just fine. The thing I hate is that type of figurine where you have to put the uh, pegs in, and then the pegs always snap yeah. off. If you and look then at you the bottom of it. it you see how his one foot has like the peg well there's a hole that it goes into and when they typecast these 
Or not type, type, not type. They typecast them. Not type, not typecast. That's what they do in Hollywood. So when they cast these out of the, out of the molds, sometimes the molds get used. You know, I've worked in die cast molding before. Um, the molds get like worn, and then they get rounded off, or they don't get cut pristinely on the edges, and it doesn't fit in there right. So we're gonna have to get some Gorilla Glue. We still have that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere. Um, non-sponsored. Uh, we're gonna have to get some type of adhesive and put it, put it in there and secure it, and then it'll go with all the other ones. Yeah. Out of frame. Behind my head. <laughs> so that's it for Loot Crate December, named Scavenger, and the Scavenger makes sense. Dwarves are tra traditionally scavengers for gold. Uh, you know, Escape from New York was an apocalyptic survivor movie, survival movies where he had to scavenger to survive. You know, the Loot Crate perk or the uh, Fallout perk is the guy who literally scavenges for metal. So, scavenges. I don't know if that's even a word. Scavenges. Anyway. Is, I think that's... I, it, I don't know. It's, it it's doesn't a, matter. It just sounds terrible. So, so um... You know, and scavenger, bump, bump, bumblebee scavenger. I guess they find him in a junkyard. Eh, it's reaching a little bit. Uh, so you're reaching a little bit there, loot, loot crate. You're really reaching. So, but bumblebee did come out pretty much like in line with the box, like when it should have come to us. So, I, I can understand why they would want to put it. Yeah, because that bumblebee movie just came out what like a week yeah. or two ago. So, yeah, when we were. Yeah, yeah. It was in the theater. So it's been like it's been like a month, I think, since since it came out. So I think it did come out in the month of December. So it mm -hmm. being in the December box makes sense, even though the the boxes <clears throat> never come in the month that they actually nope. are for. No, they so, don't. So, um, but other than that, I I think I think it's a pretty solid box. The stuff looks pretty good. Um, you know, I seem to like everything. So it was you know a a wonderful surprise. Every everything's cool. And they finally, you know, listen to their customers about it. everybody hates getting the box late. So I stopped sending the box late. So it actually got here uh, before it was scheduled to arrive. They got got here like a day, a day or two early, which is nice. Hopefully their New Year's resolution was we're going to start sending these boxes out to our people faster. Um, so um, I don't know if there's any type of change between the uh, boxes. So if you got something different, let us know. How can you let us know? You can comment below. Or you can find us on social media at... You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch where I play video games with my idiot friends. Uh, that's You can find me there under Repeat Ray Animator. I'd love to have you. You know, it's would love to listen and hear what you guys have to say about my wonderful friends and I acting a fool. So, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Don't forget to leave your comment, hit the like button, also hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find my solo reviews as well as the reviews with the groom at uh, via the Farsighted Network on iTunes in podcast form. Also, please check out the Farsighted Network on Facebook. And uh, I think that's it. That wraps it up. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.